Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, thank you for joining me once again on ZX Spectrum 48K. And we're looking at a game called CJ's Elephant Antics. It's a game which also came out on the Commodore 64, a platformer published by Codemasters in 1991. Now CJ is an elephant traveling across the globe, as elephants tend to do, and he must reach the exit of each level and then confront a final boss and destroy him. Um, if he falls down a certain distance, an umbrella will break his fall, which e uh, elephants always use use here we go you can fire peanuts from his trunk or throw bombs sometimes hmm I'm not sure about the um, the way this is scrolling but anyway so here's CJ the elephant so CJ's elephant antics not to get confused with CJ's elephant antiques which is probably um, a daytime show on BBC Two. so let's uh, let's see how far we get on this one he can let cakes and bananas to um, restore his strength you see along the bottom we've got no bombs but we've got eight lives um, and I think that's about it. Looks like it's for one to two players looking at that. Come on, CJ. Good, right. Oh, my word. So I missed that. Colour clash. Well, he sort of like goes a different colour when he goes through the scenery, but it's not really clashing. He's just absorbing the colours of everything else. But normally he is white. Now, I am struggling the way this is scrolling. Looks like the computer is trying to follow um, the anim where the elephant is. Um, it's not as bad as Boulder Dash on the Spectrum, if you're familiar with that, but I would have preferred it if the screen stayed static. But it's avoiding flip screen, I suppose. You're not walking over one side. It's trying to scroll as you go across, which uh, is bold, but uh, I prefer the flip screen with a smoother animation. But anyway, it's just personal preference. I think those spikes will kill us if we, if we get there. Now, if I don't do very well on this um, life, I will put a poke on just so we can see a bit of the game. Right, there's a dog going backward and forward. Looks like a poodle of doom. So we need to time this, drop down and fire. There's leaping frogs, fire, boom. Right, he, he dies with the word pop there, and there's a bit of energy for me. Right, another poodle. Now as you, oh dear, as you um, float downwards, you can direct yourself a little bit. In 1991, so very late in the Spectrum's day, but a very colorful game, nice use of shadows, but uh, I don't think I could play it for a great length of time because I think this scrolling would give me a little bit of a headache. But it would have had its fans back in the day, I would have thought. Now, it had two sequels. It must have sold okay. CJ in the USA and CJ in Space. Now, wasn't CJ the character in Grand Theft Auto 4? I seem to remember a mission where the guys kept saying, Get in the car, CJ. I don't think he was an elephant. So, um, you know, it just goes to prove you a uh, central character in Grand Theft Auto as an elephant would be quite good. Maybe they'll use that in GTA 6. What do you think? You control an elephant. There's probably a mod on the PC, as mods tend to have, where you can do. Anyway, stay on the red. Uh, right, that's that poodle destroyed. I don't know what the poodle was doing against us. I don't know why we're going across the globe. But I think this first level is France. And at the end, we get to the Eiffel Tower. Hooray! 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 Have you had this one back in the day? Let me know. Did you complete it? Whoops! Did you complete it without cheating? Is it, is it doable or is it just impossible? There's not many games where you control a central elephant, so here's one. Firing peanuts out of his trunk. They don't don't look like peanuts, and they. Oh, we've got ten bombs. I'm not quite sure how we fire those, but anyway, let's try to try and get off level one. Lots of different countries going around the world. I think one of them is Egypt. Um, there's nothing here to identify as France at the moment, but I believe the Eiffel Tower is there at the end, and that does give it away a little bit. There's a... Oh, man. Right, so we've got four, four lives left. CJ's Elephant Antics. As I said, not to get confused with CJ's Elephant Antiques, where each week on the show... Uh, a famous person brings on uh, an old elephant, uh, it might be an elephant teapot or a vase in the shape of an elephant or a plate with an elephant in it, and then the experts have a look at it and say it's worth 20p. What a program that was. Uh, I think I might have just made that up. Anyway, so I'm trying to fight this cloud. I don't think the cloud's the end of level boss. Is that going to kill me? Yes, it did. Pop goes the weasel, pop goes the elephant. Right. Um... Yeah, how are you coping with... Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower there. How are you coping with this scrolling? I'm, I'm struggling with it a little bit. Once you get your Spectrum eyes on, you might not um, you might not uh, find this too bad. That cloud's firing lighting at me, which is causing a bit of a problem. It's the iCloud, maybe, in its younger days. But it does look very annoyed, if indeed it is a cloud. It might be just some floating thing, like, from the trap door. And we've died. We've lost all our lives. Right. But I got on the high score chart with Fred, Pete and Paul and the evil pink, whoever they may be. If you are the evil pink, comment below. 
I'm there, in there. Now we'll put a cheat on now. Poke for immunity, so hopefully that works, and we're going all the way through. Well, not all the way through the game. We'll do about two stages. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Elephant stuff. Put your favourite elephant game below. I bet you can't think of any. I can only think of three, and that's here. CJ's elephant antics, which is this. CJ in the USA and CJ in space. Those other two we haven't looked at yet. Looks like the cheat's working. Uh, I haven't come to those other two yet, but we might do in the, uh, the, the following weeks. Excellent, excellent. As usual, if you've got a game from your childhood that you want me to look at, put it in the comment section below. Uh, I will add it to the list. I can't guarantee when I'll get to it because the list is absolutely huge. Even now, um, we've reviewed over 600 or well, 650 games and the, the, the amount of games on the list is longer than the ones I've already done. There we go. And also with homebrews we're looking at as well every Wednesday, so check those out. Hope you're enjoying it. Have a banana. Right, good stuff. Take that, take that. Um, you can mention your favourite boy band as well if you want. Right. Get that. Back streets, back. All right. Boom. What happened to New Kids on the Block? Are they still around? They didn't have any elephants in their lineup though, but more for them. Are you good enough? Hanging tough. Look, I've gone on to a boy band reverie now. I don't want to. I don't want to seem like a teenage girl from the 90s with posters on my wall, but uh, you can't see what my wall looks like, so who knows? Shoot the frogs, shoot the snails. There's a lot of games, isn't there, where snails seem to be the enemy. I don't know why they think of that. The, the coders think, what's the most evilest animal in the world? And they go for a big long list, and they think, yeah, snail would do. Always beware of a snail. They uh, they move quite fast, especially the mountain turbo snail, if you know about that. Um, don't check with David Attenborough, but the mountain turbo snail is, well, it lives up mountains, of course, and it's one metre long and it can travel up to speeds of 500 miles an hour, right? So if you're climbing up the mountain, they will chase you at high speed, so watch yourself, watch yourself. So you learn, you learn a lot about nature with me. You can repeat that to anyone, but don't, don't mention me. The mountain turbo snail, good stuff. Right, but at the moment, we're on this plodding elephant who can fire peanuts, and that's more sensible than what I'm talking about. Pire peanuts out of your trunk, hopefully destroy the eye cloud, and float down with an umbrella, like those lemmings in the game, um, lemmings. Good. Right. Some people say that running the channel makes you go quite insane, or even maybe watching a lot of videos from someone that's insane makes you go even more insane, but who cares? Uh, it's all about easing stress, really, and Planet Earth was wasted on the same people. It wasn't designed with them in mind. So we'll just bury ourselves in retro gaming. We'll ease the stress. Nothing really matters, as Freddie Mercury said. Nothing really matters to me. As we shoot these, these people guarding the Eiffel Tower uh, in control of an elephant. Now, you can't do that in real life, can you? Hooray! If you're enjoying watching the channel, then feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. The numbers do help big style. If you really, really like the channel and want to help it continue, there's also memberships too, and lots of other ways as well. But the main thing is, enjoy the channel. If you're feeling a bit stressed, watch a few videos, kick back. Uh, it's all nice and relaxed here, and we're just having a laugh. Pretty much if it's just you and me in the pub, having a bit of a, of a, of a chat, and uh, talking about general stuff. And elephants and peanuts, you know, as those things come up. I'd like, I'd like to be in the pub with all of you. One day, if this ever takes off big styly, maybe we'll hire a massive uh, stadium. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure that will happen, yeah, of course. Massive stadium, I'll do a bit of stand-up comedy. We'll talk about retro gaming, or we might be in a theatre, and we just have a good old uh, laugh. And I'll, I'll tour the world. Hmm. Right, but at the moment, I'm just in my bedroom recording this. So we're quite a way away, but with your support, we can get there, I'm sure. I'm sure we can. Small steps, big elephant steps. There we go. The most famous elephant I can think of, of course, is Dumbo. Yes, um, what other ones are there? No, there's no there's no other ones. What was that one? There was Stampy in The Simpsons, if you know that episode. He was a bit of a jerk, really. Right, floating down, as elephants do. I don't know how much elephants weigh. I don't know if this is an African elephant or an Indian elephant. If you know, comment in the comment section below. Uh, do you recognise him? Let's go this way, over the spikes. There's no chance of us dying because we've got immunity at the moment. Let's go up here. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. Right. Hopefully over here. The, the stages, that normally would have killed me. The stages are quite long, aren't they, here? They're very long indeed. So well done anyone that completed any of this um, with uh, 
without uh, losing all your lives. I think I'm getting, as the end of level boss, I think, I think I'm getting used to the scrolling a little bit now. So this is a good game overall. This is a good game. Um, it takes a while to perfect it. So that's why I've had to use the poke, or else we wouldn't seen hardly any of the game at all. So it's all a question really of saying, is it worth trying to progress and putting in the effort to get to this point legitimately? And I think as a kid, I think I would have persevered with it a bit. If I hadn't got to this stage um, uh, in my first few goes, I might have ditched it. But it's coded well. Uh, scrolling puts you off initially, but it does look beautiful. And if you if you keep playing it, eventually you will get used to it. So, you know, first of all, I thought it was going to give me a headache, but I'm getting away with it. Now, we're in Switzerland, it said. We're in Switzerland. They're a very neutral country. If you're watching this from Switzerland, comment below. Let yourself know whereabouts in Switzerland are you from. And have you ever been terrorised by an elephant? Also, if you're in France, have you been terrorised by an elephant? Let us know. Right, there's penguins floating about. It's good animation here with the baddies, isn't it? They're not just going backward and forward. They're doing a lot of stuff. So it's not to be underestimated, this. 1991, though. Uh, I don't think I was playing the Spectrum in 1991. Um, I, I think it might have missed the boat there. If it come out again, I say there's a lot of games that come out in 1991 and, and beyond. If it come out um, in 87, 88, it would have done really, really well. But the Spectrum did fight on to the end. Well, it's back again, isn't it? It's been resurrected like a phoenix. But it did, back in the day, its original retro run, it did fight to the death. And thank God for that, because out of any computer, I think it must have the biggest back catalogue of games that there ever, ever was, or there's ever likely to be. Um, absolutely outstanding. And now, if you're looking at the uh, homebrew games coming out, there's Jonathan Caldwell, he's made a number of games designers, and you don't necessarily be, have to be an expert in coding anymore. And as long as you've got the time available and the patience to test everything, you can come up with quite a good game yourself. Hooray! You know, it might be one day that I cover a game from a subscriber on the channel. Although, I did do that once. There was a game called Yankee in Iraq by Ast A. Moore. We did do that one. I think he's in the process of updating that or um, running an update on that. Yeah. Right. Now, there's snowmen about the place, as there quite often there is in Switzerland. They hate elephants. It's always elephants against snowmen. I think there was a curfew once that so you couldn't go out in the street because the fights got too uh, hectic. Uh, that cloud would have killed me about five or six times over now. Yeah. Off we go. Now, unfortunately, with Spectrum games, back in the day, of course, there was no sort of, like, save point. So you would have had to complete the game in one go. And if you had a rubber 48 keyboard, like I did, the computer would be getting quite hot by now, even though we've only been playing it about ten minutes. Uh, nowadays, with emulation, of course, you can, there's things like save states. And I could uh, save a save state where I am and then load it back up later on. So there we go. That's progress for you. That is progress for you. What a cheeky little elephant there. He's the same size as this girl. I don't know why we ki no, we didn't kill her. Let's, let's let her live. Let's let her live. She's having fun. She's in Switzerland. Yeah, right, bound we go. Right. I think they speak about five languages in Switzerland, don't they? I think so, about five languages. Hmm. They don't speak binary though, so if you go there and you can only speak binary and you just keep saying 1001 to people, they might look at you as if you're a bit insane, so don't do that. Not saying that I've ever done it myself, but it's just a warning to you. So of this game then, it's colourful, it moves quite well, scrolling takes a bit of getting used to. There's a good, good elements to it, uh, I like the way it animates with the baddies. It's pretty good level design, it's big level design, so you wouldn't complete this on your, your first go. If you persevere with it, there is a lot there. You'd have got a lot for your uh, money. I wouldn't have come back to it a great deal of time just because the the difficulty level there. But people that are a bit better at gaming than me, which there's uh, quite a few, uh, wouldn't wouldn't have minded this if, in case in 1991 they were still playing the Spectrum as their main thing and hadn't gone on to 16 uh, bit um, games by that point, like the Atari ST, Commodore, Amiga, and Sega Mega Drive, and the like. How do we get over here? Hmm. Right. It's quite sprightly for an elephant, isn't he? You can really jump up and down. Oh, we need to get on that thing. It's like a cable car. That's coded well. So a ledge cable car, we need to get onto there. There's a snow the snowball screen thrown at me every now and again, but he hasn't got the range. Off we go. Oh, man. Right, I need to time that a little bit better. Yeah, have you seen an elephant fly? I've seen a house fly. I haven't seen an elephant fly. Right, boof. Right, off we go. Oh, don't fall off, Nick. Don't fall off. Um, yeah. 
I think we need to get on that other bit there, or we could just manoeuvre over that wall, maybe. Right, bouncy, 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 do do. That's a song from the Mighty Bulls, if, if you're familiar with that. Bouncy, bouncy, da 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 da. Bouncy, bouncy, all shoes in a line. Uh, that's one of their scrimps, actually, from Trampolini. Mighty Bulls, what a show that was. What a show. I think it might be on the BBC iPlayer, I'm not sure. The radio version used to be. Good, right. So that's a bit of a retro throwback. Get on there. He's on there. He's on there. He's on the ledge. Are we going to get to another one? Now what? Looks like we're coming up to a wall. Can't go any further there. Jump down. Hello, little girl. Goodbye, little girl. Float round. Float round. I would have died a million times now, but it's all about seeing um, what the other ledges are like. You might, If you had this back in the day, you might have got here legitimately, but there's, it's a very tough game to do um, normally. I mean, this is only stage two, and as you can see... Um, the stages are long and they're really really well designed I can't emphasize that enough when you try and compare it against other games a lot of variety it's end of level boss it's a it's a snowman or an albino gingerbread man where it's one of those two right now he doesn't seem to be colliding into me let's just peanut him to death gingerbread men and snowmen are allergic to peanuts I like the way he's jumping about. So there's a good quality of end-of-level bosses here. Uh, makes me um, want to try and do the whole game just to see what the end-of-level bosses are. They are quite good quality. And that's animated okay for the um, time. Boom, boom, boom. There's a map. And that takes us to the next stage. Wunderbar. So I think we will uh, leave it there. I think the next stage is Egypt, I think. All in yellow and red. In yellow and red. Yeah, so Egypt appearing. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. It, it wasn't bad, was it? It's, it's pretty good if you look at it in um, in context. But 1991, I don't think it would have had much mileage. So, hope you liked having a look at that. That was CJ's Elephant Antics on the ZX Spectrum. Published by Codemasters in 1991. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.